Welcome to Dakota Spirit, an ethanol biorefinery operated by Midwest Egg Energy. Join us, the North Dakota Corn Council, as we take a tour behind the scenes to see how North Dakota corn is transforming the world. Dakota Spirit is located in Spiritwood, North Dakota, and is next to the Spiritwood Station Power Plant, whose steam helps Dakota Spirit be one of the most energy efficient biorefineries in the world. Dakota Spirit is a state-of-the-art facility processing about 26 million bushels of corn that then produces about 75 million gallons per year of ethanol. North Dakota corn enters the facility at the inbound and outbound scale. Here, the corn is measured, graded, and weighed before it is delivered for processing. Up to 300 trucks deliver corn every day, and drivers are paid based on the quality and quantity of each truckload. From the scale, the trucks take the corn to the receiving building to dump for processing. Drivers deliver their corn by opening the bottom of their trailers to drain the corn into large pits below. The pits can move 40,000 bushels of corn every hour, and about 2 million bushels of corn are stored on site. The receiving building also features an articulating arm to help with loading and unloading. From the receiving building, the corn is transported through a conveyor belt to the hammer mill. The hammer mill grinds the corn into a fine powder that is 5 64ths of an inch. From the hammer mill, the corn is moved to the process building to be converted into either ethanol, corn oil, distiller's grains, or dried modified distiller's grains. The conversion into ethanol begins with the ground up corn going into the slurry mixer, where it is combined with water. The mixture of the corn and water is then moved to the slurry tank. The slurry tank heats up to 185 degrees Fahrenheit, and alpha amylase is added. Alpha amylase breaks the starch in the corn down into long chain sugars. After about three hours in the slurry tank, the mixture is ready for fermentation and is cooled down to 95 degrees Fahrenheit as it moves to the fermenter. Here, yeast and glucoamylase is added. Glucoamylase breaks the corn's long chain sugars into short chain sugars. Yeast is a living organism and begins to feed on the short chain sugars and produces heat, CO2, and alcohol. After 65 hours in the fermenter, the corn mixture will be about 14.5% alcohol. From the fermenter, it is moved into a beer well to prepare for distillation. Distillation is where the alcohol and mixture are separated. This is achieved through precise control of temperature and pressure. From the beer well, the mixture moves into three distillation columns. The first column is called the beer column and separates the alcohol from the water and solids. These solids will be turned into dry distiller's grains with solubles, or DDGS. The alcohol is moved from the beer column to the other columns to further refine the alcohol from 130 proof to 195 proof. From there, the alcohol moves to the superheater to be turned into a vapor. This vapor is sent to two molecular sieves, which produce the ethanol, which is 99% alcohol and 1% water. The ethanol is then moved into the tank farm, where additional chemicals are added for performance and safety. The ethanol is then tested, certified, and loaded for export by either truck or rail. Each truck can transport about 10,000 gallons of ethanol, and each rail car can transport about 29,000 gallons of ethanol. Dakota Spirit loads about 85 trucks and 10 rail cars, which is about 215,000 gallons of ethanol each day. This ethanol burns cleaner and is more efficient than traditional gasoline which helps reduce carbon emissions across the world. Thank you for watching our tour of Dakota Spirit. To learn more or to connect with the North Dakota Corn Council, visit our website at ndcorn.org.